Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashie, what is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashy, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, octonauts. There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now. <laughs> that tunip? You found some strange objects in the garden pod? Well, let's go! Jumping jellyfish. They're eggs. But who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler! Come out wherever you are! <laughs> in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake on the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes, it was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No, no. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. Oh! That whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Sounds like a snake. Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Prepare to be rescued, Sea Crate! Yeah! Stop right there! I am so getting off this ship. Oh! Follow, Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I need 
need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great, but um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Captain, Dashi, come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Ah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashi, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use. We're getting sucked in. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly, kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. The ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain. We've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey, snakey, snake. Oh, no. Brave move, matey. I, I can't believe I just did that. Great work. Now hurry back inside. They're inside, Captain. Now's our chance. We've got to blast out. OK, Dashie, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! Now, blasters! Blasters, go! No whirlpools in sight. Good work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Yay, water! Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye, bye bye Well, Octonaut, it's been a busy night. Why don't we all get some sleep? Eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
A new message? Let's see what this is all about. Oh, me and Arcanon. This is in the Everglades from Big Earth. We got marsh fires. Immediately. Repeat, need help immediately. Captain, I think you better come down here. Oh, me and Arcanon. This is Intermarsh. I still can't make out the name. Oh, sounds like he said his name is Danger Shark. I think it sounds more like Stranger Carp. <laughs> What's all the commotion up here? We received a distress call, but we can't make out who it's from. Listen. Come in, Arcanauts. This is Ranger Marsh. Oh, oh, me, oh, my. I know exactly who that's from. Ranger Marsh. My dad. Your dad? dad? Yep, and it sounds like he needs help. Captain Barnacles, sound the Octo Alert. Oh, and, uh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, we just received a distress call from Tweak's dad, Ranger Marsh. He's a park ranger in the Everglades, where I grew up. Abaglader? The Everglades are a large area of swamps, forests, and waterways in southern Florida which is in North America. The Everglades are one of the largest wetlands in the world. They're full of murky water, deep mud, and marshes so thick you can hardly see where you're going. We're gonna need a vehicle that's built for the swamps. Here we are, the Everglades. This is where you grew up, Tweak? Sure is, though I haven't been back to visit in a long time. Well, Tweak, which way now? Uh, I'm not exactly sure where my dad is stationed these days. So, how will we find him? We'll just have to keep our eyes and our ears open. <laughs> Let's go. Up is amazing. Hey, thanks, Cap. I first had the idea for it when I was just a little bunny. My dad and I used to. Wait, cut the engine. How long you been following us? Who's she talking to? About a mile or so. It's easy to track a big, noisy hunk of junk like this. <laughs> Ah. I'll have you know I built this hunk of junk. <laughs> Octonauts, meet my dad, Ranger Marsh. Hello, Hello there. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Why don't y'all follow me to the ranger station and I'll fill you in. I've never seen a radio so uh, well used before. Well, I'm just glad you got my message. See, it's the dry season here in the Everglades, which means one thing. Fires. Fires? That's right. When lightning strikes the dried up plants, it can cause big wildfires around here. Hmm. There's a lightning storm moving in now. Don't worry, we'll help you put out any fires. <laughs> Thanks, but fires are good for the Everglades. They clear out the old dry plants and help new ones grow. But what about all the creatures who live here? Most of them know what to do in a fire. It's these critters I'm worried about. Invasive species. The Everglades are full of invasive species. Critters that come from somewhere else and don't belong here. How did they all get here? Different ways. Some were pets that got loose. Some were stowaways on ships. Well, one thing's for sure. They all cause a lot of problems. And they probably aren't used to wildfires. Bingo. We gotta find them and get them home safely before any fires start. That's why I called the best creature tracker I know. You made the right call, matey. 
I'll help you find those beasties. Actually, I meant Tweak. <laughs> tweak? Back before she started building all them gadgets and gizmos, she used to help me track down critters all the time. Those ears of hers could hear a swamp rat sneeze a mile away. Well, Pa, what are we tracking? A sucker mouth catfish, a gang of Nile monitor lizards, and I'm not exactly sure what that last one is, but rumor in the swamp is that it's big. Dashie, Shellington, Tunip, spread the word about the fire danger. Aye, aye, Captain. The rest of us will go with Ranger Marsh to track down the invasive species. Octonauts, let's do this. All right, first on the list, a sucking mouth catfish. Goes by the name of Spiny Sue. Any idea where we can find it? Well, if this noisy thing don't scare her off, we just have to be on the lookout for her. Over there. <laughs> Spirit, matey! Yeah, catfish looks spiny. Better take these octo grabbers. She's been through here, all right. Look. So this fish has feathers? Oh, of course not. But it could be a clue. You hear anything, Tweak? <gasps> Over there. Some kind of struggle. It's a pelican. There's something in its pouch. My name's Peso, and I'm a medic. I help any creature who's hurt or sick. Now open wide and say, ah. ah. What are you looking at? Ah. The sucker mouth catfish. Her spines are caught in her pouch. I knew it. She's been bothering birds all over the Everglades. That's what they get for trying to eat me. The birds back home knew better than to mess with spiny Sue. Easy now. This won't hurt a bit. There. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Oh. Now let's get you back to where you were. Ain't nobody going to eat me today. Follow that catfish. Quick, before she gets to her burrow. You'll never catch me now. <laughs> Try using your grabber, Cap. Okay, be easy. We're not going to hurt you. <laughs> Gadgets or gizmos for me. What's that big idea? Let me go. I'll... We'll let you go, all right, down in South America where you belong. You mean I'm going home? That's right. Well, why didn't you just say so? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One down, two more to go. Oh, let's see. The fish all went to deeper water. <laughs> The muskrats are safe in their burrows. Ranger Marsh was right. The creatures here really do know how to deal with wildfires. Good thing, too. That lightning storm's moving in fast. <coughs> Attention, Flamingos. Watch out for the wildfire. Huh? What did he say? He said, watch out for wildfires. Wildfires? <laughs> we flamingos don't worry about wildfires. <laughs> Please make sure you have a safe place to go and... What's that smell? Uh, oh, what is that smell? Smells like the Swamp Beast! Fly for your life! I don't think it might be the mystery creature Ranger Marsh was looking for, do you? Only one way to find out. The smell seems to be coming from over there. Let's go! Here you go, Spiny Sue. The Vegemals will keep you comfortable at the Octopod until we can take you back to South America. Oh, don't take too long now. I can't wait to get home. Well, Ranger Marsh, what's next? Nile monitor lizards. Three brothers by the names of Ronnie, Donnie, and Lonnie. And I think I know where to find them. I thought we were searching for lizards, not alligators. No, those gators won't give you much trouble if you stay out of their way. But the monitor lizards... Something's coming. 
fun. Those monitor lizards aren't afraid of anything. I heard they'd even been bothering the gators. What are they up to? All right, here's the plan. Donnie, you go around that way. Got it, Ronnie. I'll go around the other way, and Lonnie, you move in from behind. Lonnie? Lonnie! Huh? Oh, sorry, Ronnie. It's just I'm so hungry. I wish we was back home. Always had plenty to eat there. Well, we ain't home, so we've got to eat what we can find. And those little green wiggly things <laughs> will do quite nicely. They're going for the baby alligators. We'd better do something fast. Maybe we can lure them away. No time for that, Captain. Quasi. Stay away from those little gators. <laughs> A tough guy. We can deal with tough guys. All right, boys. Tail whip. What in the hell? Hey, you leave my next alone. But it wasn't me. It was you. Leave us alone. Quick, while he's busy. Was he? Up here. Phew, that was a close one. But where are the monitor lizards? Good one. Now, let's get out of here. Handle this one, Pa. We'll save him. Come on, Cap. There they are. Looks like we've got company. Hand over that baby gate. Honey, catch. Oh no! Tweak, go after Ronnie! I think that's Donnie! No, oh, hey Donnie, that's Lonnie! Don't help them here! Cap! Cap, the batteries are running low! We can't give this up much longer! Don't worry, Tweak! I think I have an idea! A blast of wind should do the trick! That was our lunch! Fancy speeders, Tweak. Ain't nothing a little mud can't solve. Shh, he's sleeping. Time to get you back to your mama. And time to get you boys back to your home along the Nile River in Africa. Home? We are going home? But what about lunch? <laughs> Try these, mateys. Yummy. Two down. Just one more to go. Mm. Still no sign of the mystery creature. Tinip, <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, uh, what is this thing? It's a snake skin. All snakes shed their skin as they grow bigger. The snake that shed this one must be huge. Longer than a gap. <gasps> mm, and that smell must be snake musk. It's a stinky liquid large snakes make. But there shouldn't be any snakes this large in the Everglades. <gasps> the mystery creature. Better call Ranger Marsh. Mm, keep the fish biscuit coming. Them is yummy. There are plenty more back at the Octopod. We'll see you soon. Ranger Marsh, come in. This is Ranger Marsh. Say again. Ranger Marsh, come in. Uh, we're working fine this morning. Then let me try. Dashie, this is Captain Barnacles. Do you read me? 
Loud and clear, Captain. You better come quick. I think we may have a lead on the mystery creature. We'll be right there. Yeah! Ow! Just what I was afraid of. This skin came from a Burmese python. Jumping jellyfish. Burmese pythons will eat anything they can fit in their mouths. And they can open their mouths very wide. Mm, this one is a female by the looks of the scales. A female? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Tweet, what do you hear? Eggs. Python eggs. Freshly hatched. But where are the baby snakes? Hi. All I see are eggs. Oh, hello there. Of course. Some snakes like to hide in their shells for a few days after hatching. Looks like we got here just in time. Sure did. If these little fellers slithered into the swamp, pretty soon the whole Everglades would be crawling with huge, hungry snakes. And that storm's almost here. We'd better get these eggs to safety before any fires break out. Wait, we found the Burmese python eggs, but where's the mummy python? <gasps> she was right here. That is a big snake. She was so quiet, I never heard her coming. Now, drop those eggs. You and your eggs are in great danger. If lightning strikes... I don't know what you are, but nobody messes with my nest. We just want to help. We are the Octonauts. Octonauts? Don't have those where I come from. I wonder what an octonaut tastes like. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to get you and your babies out of here. Promise? If you promise not to try to eat us. Promise. How will we get out of here? Leave that to me. Everyone, onto the gun. Now hang on. Go 
Not for long. would have done without your help. I'm just glad we got to you in time. You have Ranger Marsh to thank for that. Well, I had a lot of help. You're still a great tracker, Tweak. <laughs> and I gotta admit, all your gadgets really came in handy today. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Pa. <laughs> Children, wave goodbye to the nice park ranger. Safe trip home. And thanks again, Octonauts, for all your help. Goodbye, Ranger Marsh. Everyone ready? Wait, I almost forgot. This is for you, Pa. <gasps> it's real nice. What is it? An Octo tablet. Now we can talk to each other whenever we want. And you won't have to use that old radio. <laughs> Thanks, Tweak. Y'all take care now. Bye. 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 Good work today, Octonauts. And it was very nice to meet your dad, Tweak. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of him from now on. Destin, Destin, one, two, Tweak, this octa tablet's amazing, but why are you upside down? <laughs> I think you're holding it upside down, Pa. Whoop. Oh, so I am. Now that's better. Wait, now the volume's messed up. There you go, Tunip. Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. Peso give him some medicine for their Vegema pox? Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here! Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemal's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The vegemals are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> We're on our way. Oh! The algae. Excuse me, I... Hey, clear off. This here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Ah, and that's where it's still. No trespassing. <laughs> Careful, Peso. That's a moray eel, and they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the vegemals medicine. Ah, why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old... I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do 
is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. <gasps> what is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A banded soul. If you're lucky I spotted it, matey. Banded souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a banded soul? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend. But I am no bandit so <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent! Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish! <laughs> oh, oh! It's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you can help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you were asking for it. Yeah. Oh, peso, time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll have to be faster than that, matey. <laughs> huh? Admit it, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was it? In here. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll stay in there if you know it's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Ah! No! Not sea snakes! Yes! We are one, two, 
Three sea snakes! Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out! Hiss! 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 Um, don't overdo it. I, uh, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five-star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. Yeah, but it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Yeah. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle. Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Hey, so, grab on. Phew. Nice work in there, Peso. Quasi, mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're sea snakes! Yow! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> sea snakes, yo! <laughs> Not bad. My little one needs his first dolphin checkup. Well, then let me just get my stethoscope and. Whoa! You're a quick little one. Junior, hold still now so Peso can examine you. At least he's getting plenty of exercise. His heart sounds nice and strong. Barnacles to Peso, there's a storm on the way. You need to return to the octopod as soon as possible. Hi, aye, aye, Captain. I'm taking care of my last patient and then I'll head back. Your baby is perfectly healthy. Here, you deserve a sticker for being such a good patient. Thanks, Peso. There's a storm coming. Will you two have a way to stay safe? Oh, don't worry, Peso. We'll dive down below until it's over. Hey, so you don't have long until the storm hits. Are you heading back? Yes, but there's something humongous hovering over me. I can't tell what it is. Can somebody help me? Please. Captain, whatever it is, it's calling for help. I'd better check. Understood, but be careful. You don't have much time. <laughs> Lots and lots of them. I've never seen so many snakes all twisted up together like this before. Peso, what color are their bellies? Bellies? Let me check. Yellow. Aha! Just as I suspected. They are yellow-bellied sea snakes. They live their entire lives in the ocean and sometimes join together to make a giant floating island of snakes. So this is perfectly normal? Yes. But be careful. That yellow on their belly is a warning. They are poisonous. Poisonous? Yes, very poisonous. <gasps> no. Don't startle a sea snake. I might bite you. I'm sorry about that. I thought I heard a cry for help. Yes, yes, I need help. Well then, what seems to be the problem, Madame uh, Snake? Call me Simone. Right. Um, well, Simon, I'm Peso. How may I help you? There's a splinter of driftwood stuck in my scales. Peso, the storm is picking up speed. You need to get out of there. 
Don't worry, this won't take long, Captain. Just need my tweezers. Are you certain you know how to help me? I'm an optimist and a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter how scaly, or fangy, or poisonous. Now don't move, and I'll have that splinter <laughs> sure where I am. It looks like an island. Psst. Huh? Peso, please, don't move. Oh, I don't think I can move. I cannot move. I've got a sand in the mud. Captain, I'm surrounded by sea snakes on the beach. They need help now. And my flipper, ow, seems to be broken. Don't worry. We're coming for you, matey. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the guts. Octonauts, Pacer is stranded on this beach with a group of yellow-bellied sea snakes. And he's got a busted flipper. Don't worry, I can guide you through all the steps you'll need to bandage my flipper. The real problem is all these stranded yellow-bellied sea snakes. They can't move. And this summer sun is really heating up the sand on the beach. Yes, and that is bad for our delicate scales. And it's getting hotter by the minute. Oh. Why can't the sea snakes just slither back into the water? Most snakes could, but yellow-bellied sea snakes can barely move when they're out of water. Well, I'm not afraid of snakes. I'll just pick them up and toss them back into the water. Problem solved, mateys. Never pick up a yellow-bellied sea snake. It's not safe for you or the snake. They're very delicate. Yeah. Then what do we do? We'll have to work it out when we get there. <laughs> Hey, sir! Shiver me whiskers! Phew. How's that busted flipper, matey? Okay, as long as I don't move it. Ow! Like that. Easy there. Stay still. We'll do our best to make it as good as new. Thanks, Captain. But first, we need to take care of Simone and her friends. It is so hot and so dry. My scales are sizzling. We need to cool them down right away. Agreed. Tunip, Vegemals, you keep the sea snakes cool and wet. But how do we get them back in the ocean if we can't lift them up? Hmm. Tweak? If we can't bring the yellow-bellied sea snakes to the water... Then we'll just have to bring the water to the snakes. So the water does the lifting. Ingenious. All right, everybody, we're going to build a real swimming pool right here on the beach. Faster than you can see bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Vegemals, take your positions. Activate water pump. <laughs> oh, so wonderful. Oh, so good. It's working. Good work. Now open the pool. <laughs> Let's help get that water moving out to sea. Octomorphs, grab your pal. That's it. New 
Got this. Ready, Simone? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> huh? Thanks, Octonauts. How's that splinter? It still hurts terribly. Captain, Quasi, you need to fix my flipper so I can help Simone. All right, Peso. We're ready. We are? Talk us through it. Okay. Open my medical bag and take out a medium bandage roll and a splint. Uh huh. Good. Now we're ready. Okay, Captain. Hold the splint under my flipper. Right. Now, Quasi, take your bandage around three times fast. That's it. Captain, press and hold. Quasi, tie it off, and you're done. Well, matey, what do you think? How do you feel? Good as new. <sighs> and now let's remove your splinter. But oh, you lost your tweezers in the storm. And you've only got one good flipper, matey. Don't worry, one should be enough. Hold still, Simone. This won't hurt a bit. Oh, please hurry. I can't stand the suspense. There, it's out. It's out? Oh, it's hot! Oh, you're simply sensational, Peso! Oh, <laughs> just doing my job. Good work, Peso! Adieu, my brave and gentle penguin! Adieu! Adieu, Simone! Adieu! Oh, wow! <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey! Come on! Everyone join in. Right, let's go.